What's up? How are you guys doing? Today, we're gonna be reviewing and unboxing the Reference 4. Yeah. So what this will do is it will calibrate your speakers and headphones because regardless of how much acoustical treatment you do on your room, it will never be perfect. Every room will have some kind of color. It will measure your studio and create a custom calibration profile just for your room. So basically, it will take out all those coloration that's naturally found in your room and basically flatten the curve. So let's dive right in. Let's unbox this, check it out. Fancy box for the fancy microphone. And you basically download that software online, which you probably already have because that's how you get the box. So before we even start calibrating, we have to measure our speakers and make sure our speaker placement is good. So here's some guidelines. We gotta make sure this speaker and this speaker and the place I sit here is an equilateral triangle. We gotta get out measuring tape and start placing the speakers. So here are the results of the test and the first time I ever saw this, I was really surprised on how bad my room is. You can see that there's like a almost 8 dB, 9 dB resonance in the low mids and for the longest time I've been mixing with this curve. I've been using the reference for for almost a couple months and it has improved my mixes a lot. So let's just launch the reference system wide. And this is basically a background app and it will just calibrate your sound as it comes through your computer, right? So if you're watching like YouTube videos or anything, it just automatically corrects it. So I just went ahead and added the preset from the measurements I just did. So now let's add a preset for a headphone that I have or you have. So you just go add existing preset, make sure it's on create new, 
and then add headphones. And then you're just going to go ahead and type in whatever headphones you have and that'll basically flatten the curve on your headphones because headphones aren't perfect either. So if you're working with a DAW, you got to make sure you don't route it directly to Sonarworks. You just use the plugin and then make sure to put the plugin in the master bus. And this will give you the least amount of latency. There's some cool graphs you can check out and mess with the filter type and then you can mess with the dry wet and then mess with either of these just depending on your taste that's basically it how to set up the reference for and calibrate your speakers so hope you guys like that video i'll upload weekly and please like and subscribe this video if you liked it now i'll see you guys next week